Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at most likely the number one Christmas present this year and that was of course the Nintendo Switch games console. Talk about a success story. Back in 2016 this little device, this little hybrid console device just blew onto the scene and it was a runaway success and it was the big comeback story of Nintendo. Now switching forward, pardon the pun, to Christmas 2019 and I am no doubt these things flew off the shelves right under the Christmas tree via Santa Claus into all of those stockings and presents for all the kids out there and big kids like myself as well. Now a big thing that I am um, about the Nintendo Switch is obviously the third party peripherals. These things have been exploding everywhere, there's been so many different manufacturers but one of my favourite manufacturers that have been doing regular official um, joy pads and such, uh, you know, hand grips, etc., has been Hori. And this one is no different. This is the Switch uh, Split Pad Pro. As you can see, it's um, setting up right here in front of us. And we're going to be taking a little bit of a look as to why this is so good. Now, first of all, straight out of the box, the Nintendo Switch Joy Cons are really small for adult hands. Obviously, fine for kids because that's the, the main market for this device. But for the more, the, you know, the larger hands, the adult sized hands, it's just a little bit too cramped to, you know, you get hand cramped like crazy, it's way too small. So when this got announced um, back at CES um, last year, I was really excited because it looked like a full molded controller, but it was split apart and it replaced your Joy-Cons and I could not wait for this thing to come to market. Now, this came out, I think, in roughly November time of 20, 2019. And, of course, it was to coincide with the um, Damon X Machina video game. So this is styled and branded accordingly. The X button is replaced with the X from the Machina X of the logo. And it's black and red, very, very cool, almost like a Darth Vader-esque colour scheme. So I like to think it's more of a kind of Star Wars branded product rather than Damon X Machina. But, the great thing about it is it is much larger, it's got proper buttons, it's got a proper D-pad, that is the big selling point really, and it's super, super comfortable. So let's take a further look. As you can see, it slots straight in to your Nintendo dock. Unlike most other grip attachments, you have to either, it's like a rubber like bumper molded grip thing that encases the whole thing. That obviously is not the case with this, it just replaces the Joy-Con attachments, uh, the Joy-Con attachment slots, and there's a little quick release button here, and as you can see, they just pop off. So if you hold that to the camera, you get a really good look at each of the buttons and configurations of it. And it just slots on exactly right in place. We'll take off the second one. Again, super, super easy. It just replaces your standard Joy-Con and that is the brilliance of this. It's really for um, playing on the go. Let's just hold that to camera as well so you get a really good look. So it's really for playing on the go. They do not charge um, the switch. Um, they're not battery operated. There's no motion controls. So these are some caveats. If you want to play motion control type of games where you take off the controller and you use it as a Joy-Con for a partner, that's obviously not going to work with this. It is really for solo play on the go and that is the big selling point especially for me because i am mostly a single player um i'll play maybe online for like mario kart and such like that but it's not really for handing somebody a joy con and playing on the little screen but it is super super comfy if i can just spin around try and get this closer to camera let's move this box out of the way i'll spin it around like that so you can kind of see it and what you've got is basically just a really nice molded triggers which you can hopefully see there you've got large bumpers really nice molded triggers a real proper molded grip to it as well and it is just much much bigger you can see it obviously makes the switch really wide really quite chunky but again for myself i like that because it feels a little bit more durable than the tiny little switch joy-con controllers the official ones and of course that proper d-pad as well which is friggin awesome so there you go guys that is a quick look at the Nintendo Switch um, official Hori Split Pad Pro, which you can buy obviously today. And it has quickly become my go-to peripheral for the Nintendo Switch. I love it. And as you can see, it fits directly into the dock as well. So that's a very, very quick video, a little bit of a product overview, kind of half review 
Um, if you have enjoyed this video, do remember to give us a like, a follow, comment in the chat, and we will try and respond to any questions that you may have. But yeah, very, very nice little, little peripheral. Cheers.